And welcome back. So we're just about to get set on a uh, on a journey. Prince and Elka, off on a whirlwind adventure. Um, if it sounds a little bit better, I decided to make myself a Tim Hortons pop filter. Um, so what I did was I, you know, got a an embroidery thing and a. Uh, and a pair of pantyhose, which by the way, those are fun when you're buying those. Uh, it's a, the, the looks that you get, especially when I walk up, because I'm always carrying like... Um, I had I had four skeins of yarn, because I realized I wanted to make this sweater. And so I'm, I'm wearing my leather jacket, I walk up and I've got an embroidery circle and some yarn. And I'm like, yeah... It's one of those days, and the the cash like the cashier just looks at me. And she's like, "Are these for for someone else?" I'm like, nope, definitely not. <laughs> so, I uh, but yeah. So it's basically just uh, a double double layer um, of, uh, of of nylon on a on an embroidery circle. That's why it's a, a Tim Hortons. But yeah, turns out Michael's not very busy on a Saturday night. And also, Tomley music closes really quickly and, and really early. Okay, uh, I was thinking about this. I, when I saw this the first time, I realized what it looked like. It, um, it reminds me of Reboot. You know, Scuzzy, the hexadecimals pet thing. And... Uh, I don't. I I can't be scared of it anymore. Like as it reaches out to to try and grab me, and like I I've I've felt like that since I I first started playing this. Um. But yeah. So how was everyone else's day? Cause cause mine just was clearly a a barrel of, a fun and laughs and there's. Nothing more than uh, than just watching Futurama and and making you know cheap ass uh, you know sound fixtures. Uh, but yeah, so. We're just on our way to the first um, uh, fertile ground. If the corrupted return to their places, the hunter will be here. Yeah, as she as she just said. So we're we're about to meet the hunter, which just makes me think of Devil May Cry, but uh, I prefer not to. <laughs> so, sorry. This one is called. Uh, so the King's Gate, which I'm I'm wondering if he has a cup there. He probably does. Well, that was a there, there's a reason I trail off on some of my uh, attempted jokes because they're not actually jokes. They're just. They're nothing. They're really nothing. <laughs> and you should treat them, and me, as nothing when I try to make them. Edgar Grant, can you make me sound like I, I uh, did a, a really funny joke? Okay, thanks. See, I'm actually banking on the idea that I'm going to not be lazy and actually try and edit this again. Um, but... Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely not. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, like, there's virtually no combat coming into the the first bit of this game. Just simply because they're they're trying to get you used to the the mechanics and the the platforming elements, and then bring in the actual um, fights. 
like this joyous boss fight. Well, what I love is the the big bads and the the horrible bosses and, and creatures. Like you you fight them so many times and you get to know them. It's not just a uh, this is a person go kill them. And and I I like that. And, and I like the the design on this character, like, I don't think about it much, because, like, all these characters really do freak me out. Um, but, like, the hunter is, like, he you look at him and you just see that he he's bred to inflict pain. And I think that's a really cool... Um, like, like the the little elements they put on him to to have his arms look like they're just slightly too long like they can can reach out and grab you and 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 and, and the claws and then you've got the the fish hook and the the bear trap and and he looks always ready to pounce I just think that's a really a really cool way of um, you know of, of Making him uh, the the one of the big bads, and now's the fun part. Because with our powers combined, we become Captain Planet. And and what I love is there's there's butterflies immediately. Butterflies just show that everything's nice and happy and safe and warm and beautiful. I wonder if there's like an ecology bent to this. I don't think so, but uh, you know, you never know. They're from Montreal. They, you never know what what's going through their head. They're from Montreal. Okay, I don't... No, don't even know. Don't. I love how he just immediately assumes that everything's going to be okay. Um, like, she's already said where you need to go. You've, you're, you're not even, like, five. Like, 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 like you're, you're nowhere... <laughs> <laughs> You're nowhere near to where you need to be, and yet you, like, he just assumes. I wonder what happens when you when you plant a light seed. Like, if I if I took a light seed, put it in the ground, what comes out of it? Is it is it rainbows? Like, it. I, is is that how rainbows are born? And. The thing is, if there's rainbows and there's butterflies, there's one important thing that needs to that needs to happen. Because you need to take a look. It's in a book. The reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. And now I'm just imagining Troy from from Community just crying while while singing that. And now I'm kind of sad. Aww. When I heard that uh, Dan Harmon was back on Community, I got really excited. Despite the fact that, like, I know I know he's a horrible person. Like, I listen to his podcast. Like, of course he's he's not the the nicest guy. But at the same time, screw Chevy Chase. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't I don't have any. Um, like, I don't have any loyalty to, but okay, can I just say I really like like that they, they put this in, like look at them, they're just dancing back and forth. 
It's one, two, three, and suddenly I see it at a glance. She's confident and radiant. Okay, no, never mind. I'm done. No more Disney, I promise. It was only my first, my first Disney. Um, but to be fair, I, I do think I forgot romance. In, in terms of this. I promise there's no more. Actually, oh, by the, oh my god, I just realized that I called that Disney. That's not Disney. That's Don Bluth. Um, okay, <laughs> sorry, I get preoccupied with, with the, the stupidest things. Like, no, no one cares. No one cares that I that it's Disney and sorry that it, that it's uh, it's not Disney. That it, that it's you know Don Bluth and that it's Anastasia. Um, but yeah, I was like, no, they wouldn't. John Cusack in a Disney movie. That would never happen. Immediately someone points to the one time that John Cusack was in one, and... But yeah, um... I promise, I, I do... I do think about other things. So, I'm just picking up as many seeds as I can before we head off to the next location and I guess we should be picking that so the next place that we're going to be going to is uh, the veil in the cauldron and um, so I'll just take us back to a uh, to the well to a basic stopping point and uh, as you can see we need 40 more light seeds 37 to um, <laughs> to get our very first power up and it should be uh, yeah just making sure that we are going in the right direction um, but yeah it's um, I, I hope everyone enjoyed the very first um, meeting of a corrupted I think it's a I think it was a really cool idea to actually like I as I've said mm, I think a couple times I do get really um, invested in in all the characters in this like even even the uh, the corrupted like especially if I if I'm thinking right the the next ones that come up are, are some of my favorite like uh, the like the next two, um, but yeah. So uh, we've got twenty eight, and we're just gonna head back into darkness, and that's episode two. I'll see you guys next. Well, whenever I upload the next one. Bye, everybody.